In the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May the peace of Jesus be with all of us. My brothers and sisters, we continue the reading of the Bible and we try to meditate about what is written. This is our mirror, the Bible is our mirror. We have to look our size so that we can change and correct ourselves. May God bless us, my dear friends. I'm Marie Louise Mumanarungu. human disobedience. This is the book of Genesis, chapter 3. We start by verse 1. Now, the snake was the most cunning animal that the Lord God had made. The snake asked the woman, did God really tell you not to eat fruit from any tree in the garden? We may eat the fruit of any in the tree garden, the woman answered, except, except the tree in the middle of it. God told us not to eat the fruit of that tree or even touch on it. If we do, we will die. The snake replied, that is not true, you will not die. God said that because he knows that when you eat it, you will be like God's God and know what is good and what is bad. The woman saw how beautiful the tree was and how good its fruit we would be to eat and she thought, how wonderful it would be to become wise. So she took some of the fruit and ate it. Then she gave some to, the, to her husband and he also ate it. As soon as they had eaten it, they were given understanding and realized that they were naked. So they saw the fig leaves together and covered themselves. That evening they heard, they heard the voice of God walking in the garden and they, they hide from him among the trees. But the Lord God called out to the man, Where are you? He answered, I had you in the garden. I was afraid and had my I hide from you because I was naked. Who told you that you were naked? God asked. Did you eat the fruit that I told you not to eat? The man answered. The woman you put here with me gave me the fruit and I ate it. The Lord God asked the woman, why did you do this? She replied, the snake tricked me into eating it. God pronounce, pronounces judgment. 
Then the Lord God said to the snake, You will be punished for this. You alone of all animals must bear this curse. From now on you will crawl on your, on your belly, and you will have to eat dust as long as you live. I will make you and the woman hate each other. Her offspring and yours will always be enemies. Her offspring will crush your head and you will bite her offspring head, heel. And he said to the woman, I will increase your trouble in pregnancy and your pain in giving birth. In spite of this, you will still have desire for your husband, yet you will be subjected to him, subject to him. And he said to the man, you listened to your wife and ate the fruit which I told you not to eat. Because of what you have done, the ground will be under a curse. You will have no you have to work hard all your life to make it produce enough for enough food for you. It will produce weeds and thorns, and you will have to eat weird plants. You will have to work hard and sweet to make the soil produce anything until you go back to the soil from which you were formed. You were made from soil and you will become soil again. Adam named his wife Eve because she was the mother of all human beings. And the Lord God made clothes out of the animal skin for Adam and his wife. And they and he clothed them. Adam and Eve are sent out of the garden. Then the Lord God said, Now the man had become like one of us and has no knowledge of what is good and what is bad. He must not be allowed to take fruit from the tree that gives life, eat it, and live forever. So the Lord God sent him out of the garden of Eden and make him cultivate the soil from which he had been formed. Then at the east side of the garden, he put living creatures and framing sword, which turned in all direction, directions. This was the, to keep anyone from coming near the tree that gives the life. The word of God. My brothers and sisters, as we can read it, we can see that God has trusted a human being. He has given them the Eden and he went because he was, he was trusting them. Sometimes people ask why God didn't know that they are, they, those people are sinning. That was because God was trusting people, was trusting human beings. He couldn't know, he couldn't even um, guess that that people could have that kind of disobedience. Not because God couldn't know 
but because he respected the knowledge and even what he told he told to the man because when you tell someone something and you see that you are agreed to each uh, to that each other he for God, this is uh, the side of God he trusts that whatever they agreed was an agreement to themselves God trusts people and I can't say that it was offense to from God because he trusted no that was bad to us when we didn't respect what he told us when we didn't show him that you could uh, trust us if someone trusts you you have to respect you have to be committed you have to do whatever you can do to prove that you are someone to be uh, trusted brothers and sisters for me i can't blame god i can't blame him because he he gave them what he was supposed to give them he gave them what to eat what to do they were to the first time a person was alone but for the second time he gave them everything they need then he started to rest and come to visit the creature which was the same in his resemblance of the of him brothers and sisters god trust us that is why when he sent us to preach the word of God, to preach, to tell to people, to convert themselves. God, when he sent us, he will not always be with us to like, to show us, do it this, do it, this. no. Because he knows that when we trust in him, he trusts us in you, in us, and we are complete, hallelujah. Beloved of God, you have to know if God trusts you. You have to prove that you are someone to be trusted. You have to be loyal to him. For he kept to be loyal to you. Keep be loyal to him. Hallelujah. May God bless us, my dear friends. And give us that knowledge, that wisdom so that we cannot be bad children rather become good children of his in the name of the father the son and the holy spirit amen